Moo! Hello there beautiful people, I am of course Matthew Oliver, your wedding planner, here to help plan your fantastic beautiful day. Well, it's, today's video is not really about your beautiful day, it's about what actually happens after the beautiful day, which of course is your honeymoon. And this video is basically about my destinations that I would pick if I was going to go on a honeymoon, because I feel like you should know where I would go, and what I would do as a wedding planner, because it might help you understand what a honeymoon really is. Because I feel a honeymoon is something completely different to a traditional holiday which would go on with your friends and family or obviously as a couple before you get married. I think a honeymoon should be more of an adventure, a something completely different than your everyday beach holiday. And I feel like you should pick the places that you love the best and put them down in a hat, or, you know, both of you, you know, you pick five and the other person picks five, put them in a the hat and choose them out of the hat. Don't go to a Thomas Cook office or a Thompson office and book your holiday there because that's very impersonal. You're not going to get what's best for you. You need to go somewhere more fun and adventurous. Maybe take three months off, a year off, go on this honeymoon because a honeymoon is different to your normal holiday. That's Obviously, this is all very much what I would be doing if I was going to go on a honeymoon, but obviously I'm not going on a honeymoon anytime soon because I'm not married yet. And so, this is going to be very biased to me. Um, so, my, I'm going to start it off. My first place I would go, I know it's probably going to change. My first place is going to be New York. Um, you've probably been there before. I haven't had the opportunity, unfortunately, to go to New York, but I feel that this would be a very good destination for a honeymoon. Four days, a week, a month, because you can just go anywhere from New York. You could go somewhere else afterwards, or, you know, New York is one place, if you're English, that if you haven't been before, I think you would love to go. I would love to go personally. So this is obviously biased, and I would like to go to New York to start if I was going to go to New York. Second would be a drive around the whole of America. So this is going to obviously take a year probably out of my time, but I feel this is needed on a honeymoon because you, you just planned a wedding. You know, you deserve a month, a year off <laughs> to get, travel around America. All my favorite TV shows are from America, so I love to go to all my different sets. I know that's really geekish of me. Um, Grey's Anatomy would be the first one, True Blood. I mean, this is nothing to do with honeymoons right now, so I do apologize, I'll, sh I'll shut up. But I love to go around the whole of America and just to see it all because I know that I would fall in love with America. This is obviously number two. Third place, I would go and look after animals in South America. I keep saying I, but obviously a honeymoon is a couple thing. So we would go to South Africa and look after animals, like maybe little lion cubs, um, little elephants, go on a safari. But this would be, again, like at least six months I would take off for this one um, because I... You know, I want to give something back. Maybe build a a church or a um a school for people that have haven't got those opportunities, and I think that would be a great experience as well. So these are things that you can do as a couple, and it's a more of an adventure than just going to um say Italy and lying on a beach for two weeks. I think going on an adventure is it's going to be you know, more fun for you. Um, so that's my third one. My fourth place would be China, you know, but going to the unexplored China. So, you know, the Great Wall maybe, going into the middle of the the, the forests in China, trying to find the Great White Panda, because they're my favourite animal. I would love to go and do that and see a wild panda in in the actual wild. It might take a few years, this one, because they obviously are extremely rare and you'd have to go up to the mountains in China. You might get eaten by a tiger in the process, but it's still an adventure, you know, still an adventure. Um, and my fifth place I'd like to go on my honeymoon would be Australia. And again, this would be traveling around the whole of the bush, um, going surfing, you know, maybe seeing a shark and, you know, swimming away from it or something. I think that's massive adrenaline rush. I think all these places need to have a massive adrenaline rush. Somewhere that you've not experienced before. Somewhere like, oh my god, this is amazing. Together as a couple. Because if you're away for like two weeks, you don't really... It's two weeks. If you're together for a month, just you and your partner, it's just going to be more of a love affectionate. And I think, and then you'll know that you definitely made the right decision. But obviously that's going to be a bit too late if you haven't made the right decision because you're married now and you're on your honeymoon. Okay, I am really sorry about this video. I feel like it's completely different to my norm, but again, I'm ranting on it. And But at least you're getting to see a bit about me, not about who I want to be. So you're seeing a bit of my personal side and where places that I would like to go on my honeymoon. I just need to go on honeymoon now. Or I'd actually probably do this on a holiday. I just, 
I, I actually want to do everything I mentioned in my lifetime. And if that means that I can't plan a wedding, then I'm really sorry, because I really want to do this. And if anyone wants to take me on these adventures, then I will definitely be up for it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Matthew Oliver. Please stay in touch and love you so much. Bye-bye.